but uh, in more recent times, obviously, Ben Curry's uh, automatic qualification into the heat stage of the Inter Dominion coming up uh, later in the year. So there's plenty up for grabs. $75,000 stake split up. First leg of the quaddy, the previous, the Kilmore Trotters Cup, taken out by the favourite Call Me The Breeze. And we'll see who wins the pacing edition of the Kilmore Pacing Cup. They're moving forward. 2,690 is the trip. So they start around in the back straight. They head to the post and have two laps to run. So 310 on fixed district attorney. Victorian owned Sydney train. 320 about better eclipse and 340 about the other Sydney train pace, a major moth, but locally owned here in Victoria. The gate swings into the back straight. They're almost set at the dispatch. For race number six, the group two, Jet Roofing, Kilmore Pacing Cup. There's the light flashing, and they're away. Bulletproof Boy from the inside began well. He's bustling through to keep out District Attorney into the first turn. District Attorney wants the front. He had to turn the persuader, Callaghan, and he's going to work his way around and take it up. Bulletproof Boy takes the cover. Sliding forward now, Major Moth up to sit outside of his stable mate. In fact, he'll probably go up and make a play for the front. On the inside, three back is uh, Jillaby Jack Sparrow as they sort it out three deep on a limb, better eclipse. Looks like he's going to try and work his way forward here, Sugars, as Major Moth is going to stroll around his stable mate and take up the running down the straight the first time with two to run. So that puts Bulletproof Boy third on the pegs, Tango Tara the middle. Sliding forward, not bustled early. Better eclipse, he's moving up to the chair. His stable mate Triple Eight is three back on the outside lane. Up along the inside, shortcutting the pegs was Halliver. Field well spread out, like a wildfire as fourth last, followed up in turn by perfect stride. The last few all off the peg, so it'll be 50 metres spanning the field. Back second to last is Hector, and at the tail end, Exotic Push Ranger. They work their way into the MC Labour back straight to complete a lap, and 50 metres span the field in the Group 2. Jet Roofing, Kilmore Pacing Cup, and after strolling around to the top, Major Moth, he's getting a nice, easy lead. His stablemates right on his helmet, di District Attorney in second. Bulletproof Boys, three back the pegs, racing underneath Thaw, better eclipse, who's forced to park without cover. He was lagging back in that first over position, Sugars, but no one's going to oblige and come around and give him cover mid-race. They've got 1,400 metres to go. They just quicken up the tempo a little bit. In the 1-1, one, one, Tango Tara. Jillaby Jack Sparrows fall back the pylons. As they work their way to the turn, the lead time was covered in 121.6. So they travel into the straight, still no moves in the back half. Triple eight, he's three back on the outside lane. On the pegs, racing five back, buried away, Halliver. Still no moves like a wildfire. Around exotic Bush Ranger, who went left line to the pegs to save up a couple of lengths. Underneath the perfect stride, and at the tail end of the field is Hector. He's about 35 off the front. 30.2 was the first quarter. Heading into the last lap of the Jet Roofing, Kilmore Pacing Cup. There's been no change in the formation. Cam Hart has had it all his own way with Major Moth. 800 to go, no one's challenged through the middle. Second, riding his luck, District Attorney on the back of his stable mate. He'll get his chance on the Jet Roofing Sprint Lane to try and win the Jet Roofing Kilmore Cup. They went through the second quarter in 30.7. So around 61 for the half. It's been a stroll for Major Moth through the middle. Better Eclipse, just trying to work his way up a little bit closer third. No run bulletproof, boy travels well on the pegs. Tango Tara niggled out in the 1-1. One -one. They're about to sprint for the jump. Judge at the quarter, Jillaby Jack Sparrow, and then Triple Eight. The others look too far back as they start to quicken. 27 8 down the back, and it's Major Moth at the 250 with a length to spare. District Attorney's pushing into the clear before the sprint lane under Better Eclipse, who's trying to knuckle down. Major Moth clear, trying hard to stable mate District Attorney and Better Eclipse, but it's all Major Moth. He's going to lead most of the way and win the Jet Roof in Kilmore Cup. Major Moth first, stable mate second, District Attorney. Better Eclipse might have just held third from his stable mate in triple eight. Like a wildfire was thundering home. Bulletproof boy, Halliver. Jillaby Jack Sparrow, Tango Tara, perfect stride. All in a bunch with Exotic Bush Ranger and Hector. And they've run home in 27.5, a rate of 158.3. Major Moth, Cam Hart has taken out the jet roof in Kilmore Cup once he was able to work around on that first turn, find the lead off his stablemate district attorney. And with the easy time that he had,